something for running away. She would get upset with me. Lisa would run away? And she was going to run away, okay? One time. Oh, yeah, I remember that. One time, I got this little message from her. It's in my cookbook today that said, I'm going to California to see Sally Green. And, uh, but that was, you know, just because she wanted to see Sally Green. But sometimes she would be very mad at me. And one time really? she was very mad at me about something. And she took off. And I was always, you know, I know a parent is supposed to just say, okay, have fun, bye. And help them pack their suitcase. And then they'll be coming back. Not me. I'm walking behind her. Just to be sure she doesn't get lost or anything. <laughs> yeah. And we'll finally she that. comes back home. Yes. But, yeah. Let's see. What are the funny stories about Lisa? Oh, she found these wonderful shoes that she just had to have for the prom, the senior prom. And they looked like glass slippers. They were really, really beautiful. And cost a lot more than we usually pay, but she's thinking, you know, but I can use them for years for really dressy things. When I really need to be dressed up a lot, I'll have them. She comes home barefooted because she said when they got there, everybody just sh threw their shoes in a pile, and when she started to get her shoes, they were not there. Somebody stole them. So, she never saw those shoes again. What about her? Do you have any stories about her? Uh -huh. when I was a freshman, but we didn't know each other. Mm -hmm. 
And because, you know, when I went to Abilene Christian, it was like I felt like I had died and gone to heaven. Because in South Louisiana, many of the things the boys and girls did, I couldn't do. So oftentimes when other people were doing things, I couldn't go to do those things. So anyway, when I went off to Abilene Christian, mm -hmm. and everything everybody asked me to do was something I could do, I was just totally amazed. I just was totally amazed. So when I was a freshman, I was in freshman world, and I didn't want to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And he lived off campus with these guys. Uh, there were six boys that lived in this picture apartment. Um, we should, uh, where oh, yeah, there's a picture out there in the big room because mm -hmm. they celebrated their 50th anniversary. No, the one where... Three years ago. Yeah, the one with all the... Uh -huh. I'm and talking about the one where he's, like, flexing. <laughs> oh, Papa standing there. That, that's in the 50th anniversary box. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I had just re-alphabetized those cards because I'm going to send all those people a card at Christmas, okay. and I want to talk about whatever they talk to me about. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand. Oh, I'm not going to de no, I, 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 I want to show it to you sometime. Okay. And Oops. they're, uh, okay, so, so the guys, uh, anyway, it's amazing. There were six of those that lived together, and five of them were at the 50th anniversary reunion, mm -hmm. and we got together, and then about a year later, they came to visit us here. And that's, there's a picture out there in the big room of those cool. guys, I see. But, uh, okay, so he's a senior, mm -hmm. and then he goes off to the Army. And then when I'm a senior, he comes back to Abilene to, uh, he says he came back to Abilene to find a wife. But anyway, he got a job, and he roomed with a friend from Tulia, which is where he graduated from high school, friend that he knew from there. And that guy was still in college, but uh, Delbert was working. And so every Tuesday night we had devotional on the ad building steps. Mm -hmm. That particular Tuesday night, uh, I was going with a friend of mine, and he was going with this friend he was rooming with. And the other friends knew each other. So when we met and hi, well, then that left us just busy. Mm -hmm. And so we sat there, Tuesday night devotional, and uh, then he called me several times before Christmas, but I was always busy, but he would just happen to appear when I got out of my night art class. He would a lot of times be sitting there. Or he'd call me to go eat supper with him when he'd know I had already eaten supper, you know, something like that. So then I sent him a Christmas card, and he said, if I hadn't sent the Christmas card, he would have thought, well, forget that, because that's never going to work out. So anyway, we met in uh, November, I guess, and we married the next August. Mm -hmm. so, Ten days before I started my first teaching assignment. So I learned my name quickly. Because from I had the ten days, and then mm -hmm. Mrs. Langford to a, all those kids. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you. They're my stories mm -hmm. for today. <laughs> we'll get more in the future. <laughs> and how long have you and Papa been married? Yes. Fifty years. Fifty years. Whoa. This summer we went on our our own celebration of fifty years, our Alaskan cruise. This summer? Mm-hmm. A friend of mine went on the cruise this summer. Uh huh. We did. Uh, let's see. It was, we went before our anniversary, in July. We went in July. 